Hi, welcome to programming with Mass OP. Now let's imagine that you want to become a programmer and you keep facing and hearing all these jargons back and forth lately. Jargons like Java, Kotlin, C Sharp, JavaScript, .NET MVC, Laravel, Spring, Android, iOS, Angular, React, Flutter, Front and Back and ORM, Dependency Injection, OOP, Functional, JSON, Git, HTTP, REST, PDB, HEST, MTT, Domain, Architecture, MVC, MVP, MVVM, Clean, Agile, Scrum, StoryCon, SQL, Database, Mongo, yada, yada, yada. And it gets you confused or even disappointed to whether or not someday you will be able to grasp all these skills and concepts and be productive. Or maybe you are already a programmer and you are using a combination of those in your day-to-day -day job without even having the slightest clue on how they work internally. Well, in the real world, almost most of the aforementioned jargons come into play to form an enterprise application. An enterprise application, most of the time, consists of two parts, client side and backend side, each requiring its own database, architecture, frameworks, languages, tools, and set of skills. So people see these two as separate paths in programming career, becoming a front end, AKA client side, or becoming a back-end aka server-side programmer or sometimes they choose to take and practice both and they call themselves full stack in this series we are going to write an e-commerce application for managing a small shop and obviously we will see most of those jargons in action of course we won't be able to master them all and as a matter of fact nobody ever needs to we will try to mainly focus on the programming itself rather than being overwhelmed by the tools and frameworks. Now at this point, the first question that comes into your minds is that which frameworks are we going to use? One might say, I've always wanted to learn Android alongside with Spring and DC, so please use them. The other might say, now that everyone is using Django and Python, we must go with them. And you kind of get the idea here. This war between frameworks, languages, and technologies as a whole won't be settled anytime soon. And everyone has his or her reasons to defend what they use or like. Now you will be needing one or two of each in the same category based on your path and the more you advance the more you will come to realization that all those among a category work the same and almost have the same set of features for example you may dream of being able to write django application someday but in fact spring mvc and .NET mvc or laravel are all its siblings in the same category and they all have got the same set of features and once you master one it will be a matter of weeks or even days to switch to the other now living legend like robert c martin aka uncle bob would look at things through different lens he claims that all these technologies have covered and abstracted the internals layers upon layer in a way that they make you feel that some sort of magic is happening he believes that one must first be able to write the django or spring or dotnet mvc himself before using them and he insists that we should let the magic go away now i know it seems insane to write things that have been developed over years by many experienced people for us to be used as a tool that would be reinventing the wheel, let alone having the skills to accomplish that. But as Uncle Bob suggests, we will develop a basic framework to see the essence and building blocks of a back-end and front-end framework. And then we will use those frameworks to write our very own application. This will help you to look at things as a tool like they are and not as a genie lamp which make your wishes come true by some magic. Hence, you will look at frameworks as different brands and models of cars in which 
You don't have to learn how to drive the next car once you master one. So for this series, I've chosen Kotlin language for its simplicity and being concise, but any other language would do the job. There is no prerequisites needed for this series, and we'll try to start everything as a beginner from scratch. We will also try not to refer to any outer resources, and we will try to cover anything needed along the way. Unlike many other regular tutorials, we won't spend several hours on the Kotlin language itself just to start writing our very first line of shop application. On the contrary, we will cover and learn things as we go and as we need them. So don't worry if you don't know anything about Kotlin or even programming itself. Just please follow and trust no matter what. I know that at first, it will feel awkward or uncomfortable starting an enterprise application without being expert in the language, frameworks, and tools we use, let alone being familiar with. But the more we advance, the more things will get clear and you will learn the language and frameworks as a side effect to this series without even noticing. So to recap, we are gonna write our enterprise application with our own libraries frameworks and tools, tools that we'll develop along the way. Although we could first write our own programming language with some lessons about compilers. And by the way, I would enjoy doing that, but I leave that as a coming prequel to this series and we will use Kotlin for the moment. I've asked a friend of mine to pair program with me on this series to help me not jumping too fast and leave you guys behind. And we'll try to move steady together. These series will be shooted in a boring show style in which you'll watch us making a lot of mistakes and being stuck like normal people would do. And there won't be any cutouts or edits. And to be fair, watching a complete beginners series would be boring for most of the people. And in fact, you'll be so much bored that you'll be sleeping during the sessions like my friend Omid. But we'll eventually reach to more advanced and complicated stuff. And one day it will be unbelievable that this fully fledged application of ours was developed from those baby steps. So without further ado, Let's get started.